This fighter is 20 years of age. He weighed in at 61.8 kilograms. He hails from Doncaster and fights like a rattler and has a record of two straight wins. In the red corner, Ewan Jack the Gripper Lister. Martial arts and kind of combat sports have been around me for a long time. I was a little boy and from being kind of baby or being able to walk, he would bring me to the gym and make me bow and have me walk onto the mat and warm up and stretch and do different things. I went and competed, won a gold medal at my first tournament. My style is already a punch, kick, grab, throw, groundwork kind of style and, and that's what combat sambo is. One of the advantages that Ewan's got is his mindset relating to training. He's fascinated by the why you do things, whereas I never was, I'm still not. I kind of obsess over every little detail and every little mistake that I've made. So I just kind of jumped in a ring with this Goliath and was just like, okay, I'll, yeah, sure, why not? Bimbling around, not knowing what's going on, had no idea. I was a bit nervous at the time. I've had fights with bigger people and it's not been a problem since then. But at the time, I was very nervous. It's tough to sell yourself the best all the time. <laughs> it's tough to sell yourself you're perfect all the time because you're not. If you were perfect, you wouldn't train. If you were perfect, you wouldn't learn anything. I've got a passion and I've got something I really care about. And for as long as I get the opportunity to keep working at that, that's what I'm going to work at. Obviously, other bits of work and jobs involved because you've got to make ends meet and amateur sports don't pay. I co-run a gym in Hyde Park in Doncaster called Doncaster Sambo. It's really great to pass knowledge that I've been passed on to younger people and to older, to be fair. And I'm super, super passionate about getting people involved in a sport that hasn't got the highest attendance. You know, not the most people in the world do Sambo. Plenty of other sports that lots of people do. I'm not encouraging anyone to do football. I'm encouraging people to do Sambo. There's not really enough people doing combat Sambo for it to be a fully recognized, accepted sport in the UK. So every time I say it, talk about it or do it, I feel like I'm fighting on behalf of combat Sambo. It's a beautiful thing. And I really hope that the sport kind of keeps going, does well and grows and grows. It's going to be really, really cool to kind of have the first one of these tournaments in a long time and come back and kick everybody's ass. That's the hope. Do what I do. Join in. <laughs>